it's always nice to come back home and obviously uh, being here um, brings back a lot of memories. You know, my parents are giving up their weekend along with the, my, my brother and my sisters. It means everything to me, this place. We had a lot of, you know, football tournaments up here when I was a young lad and, um, you know, this was the, the starting base for me really to go on and give myself the best, to, you know, chance of having a good career. Sean McDonald, I have to say, I don't think there are many football players that would agree to come to the beach in the middle of January to do an interview. You're back in Swansea, it must be a great feeling to be back home. Yeah, we've been obviously planning on coming back for a little while. It's really nice to be back and it's really nice to, you know, be here on the beach and, and seeing the mumbles in the background there. You know, I guess your childhood dream came true because you ended up playing for Swansea City. My dream always was to play for Swansea because, you know, my, my family and all my friends are, are die-hard Swansea fans and it was a privilege, you know, for me to put the Swansea shirt on. They sing, oh, he's one of our own, but you literally were, you grew up just down the road. When you could sense that your time was coming to an end, how difficult was that to accept? Yeah, I think the dream for me was to always stay for Swansea and play for Swansea as long as I can, but in reality, um, as a young lad, that, that was never going to be the case. Looking back now, I think you know that move to Bournemouth was probably the best thing that could ever happen to me. Um, you know, from a personal point of view, it made me grow up as a man, and then from a football point of view, I had a really successful times. In the back of my mind, and I kind of knew I, that I was going to leave at some point uh, that prem year. You know, I, I wanted to play more games, um, but I got four games, so you know I'm, I'm grateful again for that, um, and it was another tick really for what I wanted for my career. After that then, I feel like the Sean McDonald UK tour continued. You know, Wigan had come in and put an offer in and it was accepted. So, you know, we, we, we got the move up north and I had a real good season personally that season. I played over 42 games uh, and then broke my leg at the end of that year. It's the worst Saturday of, of, of my life because we, we got relegated that game. Uh, we lost the game. I broke my leg and we was getting married seven weeks after me, me and the wife. So the mad thing for me was the, my main worry was trying to get back walking for so seven weeks later. It was not even football related thinking. Not to walk um, down the aisle. Yeah, it was to walk down the aisle, which I managed to do luckily. Mentally, it was tough for me to come back from that injury, from a trauma point of view, really. Uh, I was, you know, doing counselling and that after it, which people probably don't know. Um, so that was, that was a big one, but luckily I managed to get over it. You'd rather, um, then you had crew before, you know, you did decide to call it a day. What was there a moment when you thought, right, this is it? For whatever reason, I, I just wasn't enjoying my football. The wife was obviously on her own quite a lot because I was commuting, and we'd had a, a few serious discussions about possibly getting back home. You know, for, for family reasons, you know, for for a family support network, and 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 for me, I, as a young lad growing up, you know, seeing my grandparents and being around them was a massive thing. So, I wanted that for my kids as well, and uh, I have no regrets really looking back. I want to ask you about Wales because still to this day you are Wales' most capped under-21s player. So you clocked up some mileage with Wales, didn't you? I did and I come through quite young uh, with, with the 21s um, and then obviously stayed there for a number of years. But any record I think is a good record to have, especially when it comes in, in terms of football. So I'm happy with that. Do you wish you'd have played a bit more for Wales as a senior player? Yeah, I do. And I always went away. Uh, I, I must have gone away about 30 or 40 times and obviously picked up, you know, four caps, I think it is, which is not bad really, but I see it from both sides. I see a manager has to pick a team and uh, obviously from my side, yeah, I would love to have played more, but as long as my country doing well, I don't really mind. I think you were without a doubt the most eye-catching signing of the January transfer window. You've joined Pennebon. Just tell us how that came about and, and why you come to the Cymru Premier. After speaking to Griffin you know, a number of times, uh, I thought it was a really exciting challenge for me and I, I felt I still had something to give. Um, and you know, being half hour up the road, it made sense for me to, to go into, into an exciting club where you know, we, we, we're open to achieve uh, you know, an eye, eye finish in, in the league and, and who knows what this season can bring. And has he got you playing as a centre half? Because that's what we've seen you do, which is quite new yeah, for you. To be fair, he was very honest. He, he had that discussion. He knows I'm a midfielder, um, but you know, thought I could really go in there and be a calm head at the back. Uh, and you know, I'm happy to give that a go. Well, I know they used to call you the Penland Zidane, so we might have to come up with another nickname if you're playing. Yeah, in defense, so. hopefully a less pressured one than that that nickname.
Young Sean McDonald, playing up in Penland, played for his hometown club, played for Wales, played for the Premier League, that's not bad, is it? Or well, play the Europa League next now, if any bond, then that's another tick, but uh, I don't want to put too much pressure on the guys. Well, Sean, one big positive of being back in Swansea is that you can grab a Joe's ice cream now. So I think, because we're on the it. beach, that's what we need to go and do. That's right, let's go and do that. <laughs> Sean, deal, thank, thank you. Thank you very much, it's been a pleasure, thank you.